All right, let's begin the project by, uh, well, creating a Hello World app. And we're gonna get the test to go from error not connected because there's no data, no uh, backend whatsoever, to at least a 404 errors, which uh, I think that's gonna be a little bit better. So there is a little bit of preparation that we have to do. So for example, in the backend test here, I have this .env example file, uh, which has uh, basically information of how the tests are gonna connect to our server. So for example, they you know they know that our server is gonna be on port 3000. If we're, for example, gonna do uh, some other ports, we would need to change this here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy dot env example to just dot env. Uh, and that way it will find the dot env file proper, appropriately. Uh, for me, these numbers are all correct. Uh, these numbers, the, these values are all correct. And these are exactly what uh, the backend is gonna be expecting. If you make any changes, uh, you may have to make appropriate changes here as well. Okay, so if we have this, um, I've already previously installed uh, everything with an npm install, and I am running node version 18. So I'm gonna do an npm test, which then loads the content of the env into memory, and then, well, runs the jest tests. And we get these uh, error connection refused for pretty much every single test here, which is not very surprising because we have no server yet. So I'm going to go ahead and open up another terminal. So I'm in integration test. I want to be there. Um, this integration, this is also integration. Okay, let's head back out one. So I want to go into um, backend, uh, Rust, Axum. Uh, okay, so we have lessons there. I'm going to create this as a project solution right here. So we're gonna do a cargo, um, well, I always like to make sure I'm on the latest version of Rust before I do this. So we're gonna do a Rust up update. And I am on the latest version, which is 1.65 as of this recording. So we're gonna do a cargo new project solution. Okay, it creates a binary application. Uh, project solution. I'm going to go ahead and add this to my workspace here. So this is backend Rust project solution. There we go. Uh, we don't have very much. It's just uh, this hello world. So if I do a uh, cd into project solution, cargo run, uh, well, it's, it's not. It's not really anything, is it? So let's go ahead and, well, what's the first thing? We need, uh, we absolutely need to have Axum. And then we also need Tokyo because we need to use that uh, Tokyo main thing on the, uh, the main function. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do a cargo add uh, Axum. And looking through here's, uh, I'm not, going to necessarily worry about this yet. If we need more stuff, um, we'll add these in as as necessary. Uh, and then I want to add in Tokyo, which um, when we did this in the routing section, I remember us needing the RT multi-thread and the macros. So let's go ahead and add those in. So I'm going to copy you. So dash F macros and dash F RT multi-thread. Okay, if we need more, we'll, we'll come in and add, add more to it as well. Okay, so step one, we need to set up this main function so that we can, uh, well, actually use it with Tokyo. Uh, my favorite way to sort of go in and look through this is to create a new Firefox window and just go search for, just go search for it. So let's go to crates, uh, we'll go to Tokyo. Uh, open up this here. They have a website, which is a really nice guide for how to get started with Tokyo. So I just want to do a hello world, hello Tokyo here, and just look. This is what it is. So it's Tokyo main, and then we can do this async main there. Okay, so that's what I want. So 
Tokyo. Uh, Rust Analyzer is very unhappy. Let's go ahead and, oh, failed to discover workspace. Uh, it's having a little bit of issues here. Uh, let's uh, see, it's project solution, I believe is part of this, uh, this workspace. If I go down, um, yeah, I don't think I need anything special in here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, restart uh, VS Code just to uh, just to make sure it's working correctly. So let's quit out of view, quit VS Code, and I'm going to open this back up again. All right, and let's see. Let's see if you're going to be any happier. Uh, it's loading. So that that's a good sign. Okay, so Tokyo. Uh, want this to be main. There we go. And now we have to add in the async keyword. And everything should still be happy. I should still be able to do a. Uh, so those are my backend tests. This is just Rust Axum. So I want uh, project solution. Should be able to do a cargo run here. It compiles Tokyo, and then I should get that hello world still. Okay, I do. Next up, uh, I want to set up a hello world for Axum. So again, we're gonna go to crates, search for Axum. They don't have a nice website like Tokyo does, uh, but they do have a nice example sort of here. So uh, this is all for use in like the main the main function. I'm just gonna go ahead and just take this entire thing, copy you, put you in here. Now, uh, things that we're needing. So I don't have tracing installed. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove tracing. Uh, we have our app router. I don't need like the second route. I just want to do this like hello world here. Uh, so semicolon U. Okay, so we have our second address. We're gonna go to localhost port 3000. Okay, that's good. I don't need the tracing stuff here. I'm sure bind. Okay, into make service. Uh, here's our root and then I don't need this. We're not, we're gonna be doing different stuff. I just want the hello world part. And don't need you. Okay, so if I hit save, uh, we don't have certa yet, that's fine. Uh, lots of things that we don't really need in here, but we're gonna be moving everything into the main library right after this. So let's go ahead and run this. So cargo run. Okay, so this is running, it didn't quit yet, so it should be running the entire service. And if I rerun the test, yeah, now we're getting 404 errors instead of error not connected. Uh, so that's a, that's a good sign. Now everything is still failing, so not, not that surprising. So uh, let's, um, let's refactor this into the basic sort of setup that we want, you know, that's going to make it easier in our lives because we want to write the entire app inside of main. So I like to have uh, the main sort of starting stuff happen in lib.rs. Uh, and then let's see what we're going to do. So we're going to have as Tokyo main. I really just want to be able to run like run run from main to lib and then it will do its stuff. Uh, okay, so that app uh, router, router new. I do like the idea of creating a router in its own in its own file. So I'm going to create a router. RS, and we're going to mod router. Uh, we are going to take this creation of the router, and we're going to put that in there. Okay, so that means I want a new function. So I want a pub 
function, uh, I guess like create router. Um, I'm not taking in anything yet, uh, and we're gonna return a router. And I don't need that let app equals, I'm gonna take both of you and hey, all of you and go down. Okay, so that's happy. Um, we have this route path with a method get root. Um, well, so this is where we have our routes, right? So let's create a um, new folder, do routes. And then we're gonna put in our routes into here. So we have a hello world. Uh, so we need a mod, .rs, and then also a hello world. .rs, which I might get rid of because I don't remember if I need anything uh, like a hello world on, on slash. Um, okay, so I need library. We're going to mod routes. Going to pub mod hello world. And we're going to create a pub async function hello world that just returns maybe like actually it doesn't have to return anything at all. Just a 200 is fine. And I want to come back into our router and I want to be able to use that route here. So I want hello world like that and remove the call to it. Okay, that's good. Um, we are no semicolon, so we return it and we want to pull in get. Okay, so you're fine and happy here. Uh, okay, so we have this create router. So in my main libraries, let's see what's next. Um, we have, I guess I want to create the router because then we're going to use that in this app make service. Okay, so here I want a, uh, I want a function run for you. We do need an await when we create the service. So we're going to do a uh, pub async function run. Um, I don't know if this is going to return anything. Uh, we're going to do let router, I guess this is just let app equals um, create router. Okay, so that creates that. Uh, we do also need uh, to create the socket address and then start you up. I'll do that. Okay, we should create the address here. I like I like just full uh, uh, full words for my variables. Okay, so there's that XM server bind. Okay, so a reference to address. Uh, we serve the app into make service. That should be happy. Oh, we need to pull in socket adder, which is from standard net. And we await and then unwrap this. Uh, now this will cause it to crash in case that there's a failure, but then we should get a good error message uh, in that case. Okay, so you're happy. And then finally we need to run this uh, run function. So I don't need that root anymore. I'm gonna take you out and we're gonna run run. I need to use that. So we're going to use uh, now the name of this project is uh, project solution. So let's pull in project solution run. And we can run. Let's await that and then semicolon. And uh, we're I think we're good to go. I think we've still got everything up and running. I'm going to come back to project solution. And we're going to use um, uh, cargo. No, sorry. Yeah, cargo um, watch. So cargo watch. Uh, X run on this. Uh, 
it should still be up and running. I should be able to open up um, Thunder Client. I'm going to create a, uh, a new collection for this, uh, which we're going to call, uh, I guess, like project. Uh, maybe I'll call this like to do API. And we'll create a brand new request. Uh, this is going to be, I guess, like hello world. So I want to get to HTTP colon slash slash local host for 3000. I think that's going to be it for that. And we should get a 200. Okay, excellent. If I went to uh, anything else like hello, that would give me the 404 not found. Okay. So that's good. And if we come back to here and we run, run the tests, we should still at least get the 404s. Okay, excellent. So I think we're getting close to uh, to being able to handle and like started working on these tests proper. Uh, now, of course, we're gonna have, uh, let's see, our first sort of grouping is gonna be user stuff. So that, um, we still have some like database things to take care of. Uh, but that's going to be in the next video. So thank you so much for watching and see you then. Bye.